Hey, Chris Lipe here with the Studio Multitracks for My Chemical Romance, Welcome to the Black Parade, Gerard Way. Yes, that means studio quality isolated vocals, but it also means isolated guitars and drums and all sorts of backing nuances that we can really, really dive into here. I love My Chemical Romance. The Black Parade is in my top five of favorite albums of all time. And it's not often that we get to hear Gerard Way's vocals elevated above the masterfully crafted instrumental layers that are in the album mixes. I've talked about this before, but I feel like I always want a little bit more volume relative to the rest of the band. I always want more volume out of Gerard's vocal mix. And so this is a special privilege for me <laughs> to be able to go through and and do that. Like study the nuances in an isolated way and maybe even play some of the music but turn his voice up just a little bit where I would like it if I were mixing it. That said, I like the mixes in in My Chemical Romance. Uh, albums also, but this is just really, really cool. As we go through this song, expect me to be making some observations as well as trying a few things with my own voice, so headphones are welcome, partially just to hear the genius of some of the arranging decisions that they made with the vocals, but also think about, whether you sing or not, how his character, how Gerard's character and abandon and freedom with his own character-based performances, consider how these can be part of your own creative art. Gerard Way is so engaging and such a good writer and such an amazing rock star because he's got this abandoned, almost mad scientist creative way of approaching his singing. And I hope that you get even more of a sense for that as you listen to these in isolation under the audible microscope. If you'd like more help with your voice and coming to terms with how free you can be as a singer, click the link below and join my free voice course. All right, let's get into this. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. Notice how boyish he sounds. It's, it's perfect for what he's saying, right? When I, mean, I was a young boy. And he's very la -da, la clean and, and approachable. He's fitting exactly what he's saying lyrically. He has such an amazing gift to be able, being able to do this. He said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken? The beaten and the damned. Still very innocent. And then, listen. He said, will you defeat them, your demons, and all the non-believers, the plans that they have made? As we go to plans, listen to how he starts getting almost a little bit irritated in how he sings. Like, everything has been very sort of choir boy, almost re not reserved, but just... Almost this uh, this posture of like, it's coming. You know it's coming, but I'm going to be very reserved for the moment and then sneak up on you. And ah! She'll do in a minute. But listen, if you listen right here. The plans that they have made. The plans. He starts this sort of sigh thing already. The plans that. The plans. It's there in a very subtle way he's he's precluding like great movies do right if you think about back to the future where you know the the beginning of that movie has the clocks and then you this uh you know skateboard when michael j fox comes in and and there's the plutonium at the beginning and then the news that's talking about the missing plut he's doing that he's forecasting he's setting up the play both lyrically and with his voice, subtly. Because one day, there it is. I'll leave you a phantom. That one day, right? Because one day, 
because one day, because one day. Now, I'm going to do it, and it's going to sound different than him, but by merely going from this guy who's going, get ready, it's coming. The plans, Ed. The plans. It's a little bit, and then he sighs. He abandons into this note. Because one day. Because one, because one day. Put that in your voice. Put this character in your mind, and you will follow the genius of Gerard Way. Because one day I'll leave you a phantom to lead you in the summer to join the Black Parade. And then right here, uh, uh, there's so much to talk about, but right here. To lead you in the summer. Listen to how, listen to how he, he increases his uh, uh, hard onsets as well. I'll leave you. I'll leave you. Ah, ah, ah. That wasn't present in his earlier. Again, these are subtle, but so important to his progression in how he does his vocals. A phantom. A, a phantom, right? To lead you in the summer. To join the Black Parade. And there's a bit of sigh here. To join. To join the Black Parade. And of course, I'm exaggerating, but listen here. Parade. Parade. Hear how he brings his resonance. Parade. As he creates that grit, ugh, compression, he brings that resonance very, very forward. So there's subtle sigh that's going on to here. Join! To join! <sighs> to join the Black Parade! Very exaggerated, yes. But if these things are not pulled out, you just... I would, I, and I did for a long time, listening in the original mix. You don't hear these subtle character tweaks that he's making, but they make the vocal performance. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city. He is full on desperate here. Desperate is the perfect word to describe how Gerard Way gets his aggression and angst. A lot of singers will, you get the impression that they, they just go harder and harder and then their voice breaks up. He takes the opposite. I've been talking about this concept of sigh a lot. Oh, oh no! Oh. That's Gerard Way's approach to getting into these aggressive characters. It's a, it's a completely like hands thrown up. <laughs> Almost this cry and desperation. And he's full into this character right here. When I was! When I was! That's very different than this. When I was! Right? That's more the, I don't know, early 90s, late 80s kind of like macho. This is the opposite of that. This is, oh, help me, when I was, when I was, but then supporting that sigh with the proper amount of, of, of support. If you don't understand how to dial in your support, you'll never do this from a singer. Join my free course for help with that. But this emotion that he's showing in combination with good support is what gets him where he's at. And this transition, this journey he takes you on is the genius of how he presents and how he, how he is a musical actor with what he does. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city. Right here, I mean, took me, took me. You hear all these little squeaks. Took me into the city. And there's, there's this sense too that it's never going to come out the same twice. So you're capturing this emotion you're capturing a moment here where he's channeling other things that you will never get back after hearing this one take. Suck me into the city! City! To see a marching band! And notice the sigh at the end, even. And a marching band! Oh! This! Do this a lot! 
this sound, this feeling, and then sing marching band and see what comes out. He says, son, when you grow up, when you be the savior of the broken, the beaten and the damned. I just love this line right here. The beaten and the, the beaten and the damned. There's so much quirky and incidental things happening that you just can't plan. All you can do is adopt this desperation, this sigh mindset. Let it engage your false chords. Again, there's room for technique, but we're talking about technique exercised in pure desperation and emotion, wearing it right out here on your sleeve. Now, I want to take a little bit of a break here from vocals and just acknowledge the fact that we can listen to other things like the drums. Listen to this kick, how gated it is. It's, there's reverb on it. It sounds very triggered, very programmed, but you put it in context with the rest of the drums. I mean, that's a drummer. So awesome. It would be neat to sample this and just write a different song over it. Uh, and then listen to the bass tone. Guitar. You can hear subtle mix like automation mix tweaks here. These are stems. They're you know you can hear the doubled guitars and different mic. You can hear off off access mics. You can hear on access mics. These are definitely real amps. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now, we also have this neat thing here. Uh, these these are backing. So they, this includes backing vocals. It includes other instruments. Listen to how things come together in this sort of bucket of things that are not basic drums, vocals, guitar, bass. We'll carry on, we'll carry on. And though we have said I can't believe me, your memory will carry your memory will he even has his own characters in the backing vocals going back to the vocals sometimes i get the feeling she's watching over me she's watching over listen how how doubling the vocals add to his character this is now a a group of gerards sometimes i get the feeling she's watching over me and other times I feel like I should go. Who went through it all? The rise and fall, the bodies in the streets. And when you're gone, we want you all to know. We'll carry on. We'll carry on. Some of those individual nuances are sort of blurred and buried in the context of this doubling technique, which is good. We can hear them better in this context. Carry on. Well, he still has that sigh. We'll carry on. We'll carry on. Carry on. We'll carry on. And though we have said I can't believe me. He has his voice very open. There's a lot of nasality there. But listen to what he does with carry on here. Carry on. Carry on. We've got this placement where carry on. Very, very pure belted. This is about all the belting he's doing. The rest of it is is compressed and placed a little bit further back. Is nasal. La, 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 la. You can hear me moving my placement around even as I'm letting my voice sort of 
abandon into itself or out of itself, if you rather look at it that way. But when he, when he points that resonance towards the front of his face and really belts, it's a very focused, different sound, and it's accentuated by the doubles. Carry it and carry it, said I can't believe me. Your memory will carry on. You'll carry it and in my heart I can't contain it. I can't contain it. Listen, that contrast versus this. You'll carry it. And he's almost, he's, I think he probably is, plugging his nasal passage there. Okay. You can hear me sort of switch it on and off. This is really key to the interest present in his voice. And in my heart, I can't contain it. The anthem won't explain it. A world that sends you reeling from dissent. So listening to the instrumental here, super cool. I've always liked the octave layers in the guitar here. They're very vocal. Oh. That the palm muting, the way he There's, there's an embodiment of Gerard's vocal persona in the way that these guitars are played. That's what makes them a great band. But you have this sense that in the same way that, that uh, Gerard will sigh into his most aggressive moments, this pent-up palm muting with these, these release of, of those higher notes in the guitar, it, it perfectly complements what he does as a vocalist. Yeah. Now declare defiant to the end. We hear the call to carry on. We'll carry on. And though we are said, I can't believe me. Your memory will carry on. We'll carry on. Pretty special. Now I've got to stop it here and there because the uh, Google gods will uh, make it difficult for me if I do not, but let's listen on. Yeah, weary widow marches, on and on we carry through the fears of I love hearing how the background vocals interact in this section. Marches, on and on we carry through the fears Listen to just the backing here. Marches, on and on we carry through the fears of <laughs> La -da 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 -da. Very imprecise. Very uh, head voicey and sort of Mickey Mousey, wimpy sounding, but combined with the rest of the approach, it's perfect. Marches on and on we carry through the because he's like this in the in the forefront, and then we've got the la la da da in the back. This is part of of all those different gangs of of and textures working together, which is what makes his vocals and the entire arrangement so interesting. Marches on and on we carry through the fears Oh, ha, ha, disappointed faces of your peers Oh, ha, ha, ha. What an incredible masterpiece. This is, this is one of those, I mean, I would hesitate just because I will probably get things thrown at me to say um, that... Bohemian Rhapsody era Queen and Black Parade era My Chemical Romance are are right there. I mean, as far as as far as my musical fandom is, <laughs> there's just so much going on with the harmony and the arranging and the, the incidental you know chord structures. And I mean, this is just listen to this. Uh -huh. Take my heart, go and try. You'll never break me. We want it all. We want to play this part. The the thing is, is it, it's cross genre. It's it's 
it's visual and visceral in ways that most music is not. And I would say that about both that era of Queen and this era of, of uh, MCR. We want to play this, but I won't explain or say I'm sorry. I'm unashamed. I'm going to show my scar. Give a chair. There's a lot of energy going on here, even though we've lightened up musically. I'm going to show my scar. Give a chair. I won't explain. <laughs> There's a lot of abandon going on here. It's like everybody else, you know, your, your horn players and your band members and everything have kind of gone. All right. Let's relax for a little bit. And he's like, I'm not done yet. I'm still shouting. I'm still so angry at the control I was experiencing at the beginning of the song. And now you're really going to get a chance to hear it. That's what I feel like is going on here. He's, he's going, he's taking a departure from the band in his emotion and his character and that's again what makes this so incredibly special we want to play this part i won't explain or say i'm sorry i'm unashamed i'm gonna show my scar give a chair for all the broken listen here because it's who we are just a man yes i'm not a hero just a boy now who listen. had to sing this song just a man i'm not a hero who i zone Care will carry you. Key change, right? I mean, ugh. Care will yeah, yeah. We've got, we've got that pitch. Because of his abandoned principle, he can hit that pitch and almost sigh into it. Yeah, I'm gonna scream creates all sorts of wonderful textures. If you've seen my video on how to <laughs> use your vocal break and sighing together to help summon this kind of singing approach, you know what I'm talking about. Share will carry on, will carry on. And though we are said I God, believe me, your memory will carry on. You'll He's thinner here and happier, partially because of the key change. The key change ushered in a quality in his voice where he's singing higher and he can't be quite as thick. We'll carry on, we'll carry on. Because he is he's singing higher, we've lost, we, we've, we've regained some of that childlike innocence that we hear at the very beginning. Brilliant arranging, brilliant knowing thyself in terms of your own, his own voice and being able to channel and, and bring back some of these characteristics by doing a key change and then reacting to that key change with his voice. It's also interesting when you listen to the music here. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of of, of uh, okay out of tune there. Even the inversions and the way the chord structures are are done here after the key change does the same thing. It elevates both in arrangement and in in pitch. Yes. Listen to how clean that that thing was the whole time, right? And then he, he abandons, even on the doubles. <laughs> Again, exaggerated. But if you slow it down and you practice that kind of thing, then being tighter with it. <laughs> that. That's what we're going for, right? That dirty ending to a clean, soaring note. Listen to that sigh, right? Who will who will who, who will carry? And he's not singing carry. Who will carry? He's not doing that. He has it very open. But because of that sigh, who will carry? Who will carry? Yeah. Will carry. 
And then he returns to innocence at the very end there, too. What an arc! We'll carry! We'll carry! And then... Ah! Very... Less vibrato than I just did. Ah! No vibrato. Ah! But listen how he swells out of this. Ah! Ah! He ends in a head voice posture. He returns to the choir boy as he, as he comes out. It's almost like we see the growth he's gone, to, gone through and the angst and the frustration and the tainting. And then we roll back the film to the very beginning. Gerard is one of the most masterful performers, vocal performers of, of living today, I think. The writing, the arranging, how it, how it goes with the band... And he's only getting better if you listen to their, their more recent stuff. I mean, he's, he's absolutely incredible. Thanks for going on this journey with me. Again, if you'd like more help with your own voice and dialing in some of the sounds that you hear him and me doing, click the link below and join my free course. We'll see you for more.